Of the shadows and onto the big screen tonight in Logan Square, there is a special preview of a documentary film about an amazing Chicago family, seven siblings who all survived the Holocaust by hiding in a farm. And now some of the surviving siblings are sharing their story with WGN's Mike Lowe. I never thought we'd even get here. The Weber family's name is in lights, prominently displayed on the marquee at the Logan Theater. 75 years is a lifetime. It is a sharp contrast from their arrival in Chicago 75 years ago. To be able to celebrate 75 years is quite remarkable. Stepping into a new world after living a life of deliberate invisibility. It was a sad time, what can I tell you? Seven siblings had survived the horrors of World War II in Germany. Today, 89-year-old Gertrude, 90-year-old Ruth, and 81-year-old Ginger sat together to reflect on their extraordinary experience. And the farther we get away from those six dreadful years, memories fade, and it will just become a part of ancient history. Of the six million Jews killed during the Holocaust, one million were children, according to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum. But thousands survived by hiding, among them the seven Weber siblings. Alphonse and Zenta, dear Ruth, Gertrude, Renee, and Judith, Bela. In 1943, farmers Arthur and Paula Schmidt took in the Weber children, hiding them on their land about 40 miles east of Berlin. They were living in a laundry hut on a farm seven people, seven children in this laundry hut. While the children were totally vulnerable, relying on others not only for sanctuary, but also survival, the farmers also assumed extraordinary risks. They hid us on their farm. They didn't ask anything of us. This photo from the Chicago Sun-Times shows the seven Weber children arriving in the U.S. Yeah, I believed everything they told me on the ship that the streets of America paved with gold. And I believe them. So I'm looking, looking, I don't see any gold. All I see is asphalt. I was so upset they lied to me. The siblings were split up in foster care, but life somehow seemed renewed. But the most important thing is the fear was gone. I wasn't afraid anymore that someone would pick me off the street and send me to a camp. If it all sounds like a movie, that's because it is. A rough cut of the documentary film, Would You Hide Me, is showing at the Logan Theater. The director is the daughter of the youngest sibling. It's a story about courage and bravery and hope. It is a distant but living memory with lessons for today. Even though there aren't that many of us left, uh, we're, we're dying out, um, the story continues to have relevance today. There is tremendous anti-Semitism, which is on the rise. The um, white supremacy movement is, unfortunately, has always been there, but I think it's on the rise. Lives that began in the shadows, now on the big screen, asking us all the urgent question of the film's title, Would You Hide Me? The even deeper question than would you hide me is would I hide you? And that's the question that I, I wrestle with all the time and wonder would I have the courage to do what the Schmitz did for somebody else? In Logan Square, Mike Lowe. WGN News. Such a thoughtful look mm. and great mm. characters they've got Amazing there, yeah. history there, too. Mm -hmm. Well, still ahead tonight, the Cubs try to keep their 